Phew! Word of day! I saw a lot of coral reefs being dissolved again. What? What do you think happened, Nuggets? What? Aren't you aware of the term called ocean acidification? What's that? I never heard anything like that before. What's that supposed to mean? I think you didn't listen to your science teacher again, Cece. Hehe, <laughs> I was a bit bored. But now I'm curious. So please, can you tell me more about it? You're lucky you're my friend, Cece. Oh well, let's start from the beginning. Before we go deeper, let us recall the beauty of the ocean. Did you know that our ocean covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface? You mean our home is very, very, very wide? Yes! Wider than you think it is. Prior to that, the majority of life on Earth has something to do with the oceans since 94% of Earth's living species exist here. But only less than 5% of it has been explored. Wow! So cool! Can you tell me more? Alright! Well, over 70% of the Earth's oxygen is produced by the ocean. Seriously? Wow! The ocean really is important for us, for the people up there, and for the whole wide world. Indeed, Sisi. Now, we'll talk about ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is the reduction in the pH level of the ocean over an extended period of time caused by the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere increase due to industrialization. This phenomenon is caused by the use of fossil fuels and expansion of land. The ocean absorbs approximately 30% of the CO2 released in the atmosphere. Oh, so that's what ocean acidification means. I thought that it refers to the change in the pH levels in the oceans because of acid rain. And I thought you aren't listening to the science teacher. I think you do know something, but you're just confused. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. You're forgiven, so for you to be able to understand ocean acidification, I'll tell you its true process. CO2 is dissolved in the waters from the atmosphere. Then carbonic acid is formed when aqueous CO2 combines with water. It decomposes to create bicarbonate and hydrogen ions. The increased concentration of hydrogen ions causes the oceans to become more acidic. The more the ocean absorbs CO2, the more it becomes acidic. Carbonate ions reach the ocean through the process such as limestone weathering. The amount of carbonate and hydrogen ions in the ocean is reduced as a result of this buffering. Because there are less carbonate ions in the oceans, organisms that develop their shells or skeletons from carbonate will be harmed. The levels of ocean acidification will also reach a corrosive level at which point the shells begin to dissolve in order to buffer the ocean pH. Holy! The process is more complicated than I thought. Thank you, Nuggets, for the clarification. No problem. It's much better that you are aware about this phenomenon because our ecosystem is at stake. So it's better that you are aware of what's happening around if you really care about the place you live in. Thank you, Nuggets. Now, I hope that everyone who is seeing this video will be more aware and try their best to lessen their carbon footprint. Consuming less meat, using less energy at home, limiting the usage of plastic, and many other things. That is all. Thank you for watching!